Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We begin with an unexpected Fox News alert. Just moments ago, Barry Weiss of Substack began posting part two of the Twitter files. Now, these are assessments of internal documents from Twitter that have been hidden under previous management, but are now being exposed by Elon Musk, who just bought the company. So first, Musk last week gave a trove of documents to Matt Taibbi of Substack and now to Barry Weiss. Weiss is unpacking all of this right now live on Twitter in a Twitter thread. What she has revealed so far confirms what many suspected but none knew for certain, which is that Twitter routinely censored prominent critics of the Biden administration, did so in secret without telling anyone, and with no factual justification whatsoever. This is known as shadow banning. Twitter did it all the time. Now, publicly, they denied doing it. People who were being shadow banned suspected something was up, but they didn't know. Now, officially, Twitter's chief legal officer, chief censor at Twitter, Vijaya Gade, a woman who was rewarded by the Biden administration for her work on their behalf, said that, quote, we do not shadow ban, and we certainly don't shadow ban based on political viewpoints or ideologies. That's what she said. That was a lie. And the documents that Barry Weiss is posting right now, including screenshots of Twitter's internal censorship tools, prove that it was a lie. One of Twitter's targets for shadow banning was a St Stanford professor, a physician, PhD, called Jay Bhattacharya, one of the most impressive people in American medicine, someone we've had on this show many, many times. There was no justification for censoring Jay Bhattacharya, except he was one of the authors of the Great Barrington Declaration, which very early in the so-called pandemic infuriated our country's public health establishment, including Tony Fauci, by opposing COVID lockdowns. Jay Bhattacharya has spent his career studying the health effects of various policies on vulnerable populations. So he knew that COVID lockdowns would harm children, and he said so. That has turned out to be true. But Twitter, doubtless at the request of the authorities, shadow banned Professor Bhattacharya of Stanford for saying this out loud. They prevented his tweets from trending, and that meant that most users could not see his tweets, though they were factual. Twitter also shadow banned Fox's Dan Bongino. According to Weiss, Twitter at one point slapped Bongino with a search ban. That made it impossible for users of Twitter to find tweets by Dan Bongino. Because they were inaccurate? No, because they were accurate. That was the crime. That's always the crime. They never punish you for lying. They only punish you for telling the truth. Twitter also flagged Charlie Kirk's account with a do not amplify tag. Weiss reports that, quote, the group that decided whether to limit the reach of certain users was the Strategic Response Team, Global Escalation Team, or S-R-T-G-E-T. The team often handled up to 200 separate cases a day. Another group within Twitter called Site Integrity Policy Policy Escalation Support, notice the bureaucratic handles here, it's like the military, that group also handled shadow banning. And that group included... Gade, as well as Twitter executives Yoel Roth and Prague Agarwal, who ran the company. None of this has been previously known. It was never disclosed to the public. Weiss's thread is ongoing. It's being updated as we speak. And of course, we'll bring you more information as we get it. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens. Stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.